Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today we're at a railroad crossing in um, um, someone Hansonson Park and this is actually one of the biggest most abandoned railroads in um, South, I think in LA We're at the BNSF Harbor subdivision, one of the oldest railroads ever Railroad started operating around the 70s and 80s Stopped being operated in 2000s, 2007s and 2008s Here's what the crossing looks like it has old lights. I think those are WRSS lights. I'm not sure. Look how old they are. And all of them are almost old. You can see some of the bulbs are on. Some of them are gone. Someone hit them. Yeah, because no one owns this line anymore. Basically, it's empty. Empty. No more trains coming, sadly. Rest in peace, BNSF Harbor Subdivision. It's This railroad starts from here all the way to Vernon from this yard. Trains used to come here, and they used to like, hit this curve before. So we're gonna talk all before, before, before everything existed. So a long time ago, before like nine, 80s and 90s, trains used to come from this yard all the way since they had to deliver goods to El Segundo. So the railroad line would just start at that yard over there, just like, um, like a two minute walk from here. It would start from there and go here. Then trains would always come here because this is one of the best crossings you could come in and during the 80s, but then they were canceled a long time so you could basically do whatever you want here you could walk on the tracks because there's no trains coming now but if actually one operated right now that would be crazy this video would get millions of views because people are surprised about how an abandoned railroad can still be alive but trains just come through here they used to always pass and they would always go there they would always go passing the railroad crossings and many people had to stop you know all that stuff had to happen there. Eventually, during 2000s, BNSF stopped using it because they didn't eat it anymore. I don't know why, they just stopped using it. And then they just decided to leave the line, abandon it, let, left it on. Completely nothing was going on. You can see the crossings right now look very, not very da damaged. But before, in the 80s and 90s, they were super old. By the way, this one has a rare on. Mechanism it has one attached to it. So this crossing does still work. I actually remember I saw a video of somebody cutting this in action. Literally. I don't know if this was last year or this year, but I think it might have been last year. Someone caught this crossing where I'm standing. This activate. This was activating. I was confused. I didn't read the description. And then they said that there was um like there was a windy day and all the garbage, you know, all this trash stuff got inside one of those little track circuit things. And then the it thought the crossing thought that there was a train coming, so it just activated the crossing and the crossing was just left on. Eventually, I don't know how they managed to turn it off. Maybe BNSF actually came to fix it, or it turned off itself. Or the third three, it might have actually died. Because the crossing cannot be on too long. If it might have stayed on for like a whole week, it might have actually died. I'm a little confused how this could still be on, but I think it's off right now. I don't, yeah, I don't hear the bells. So I guess it died or you need BNSF fixed it. BNSF will not actually fix this. Well, if they own the line, they would still fix it, but they're not fixing this because this is abandoned. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Also, try to get us to 350 subscribers. We're trying to get that Q&A video. If you don't guys comment right on this video, this video, will, the Q&A will be canceled, I meant. Q&A will be canceled, and then you won't be able to see the Q&A. So please comment this video, because we're going to this coming soon. So anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!